Hey everyone, welcome back. So we have another collaboration with CP Lighting and the uh, Subaru Mini Truck. And we have uh, front brakes and rotors and we have uh, back shoes. So we have the car all jacked up right now. So this is what it looks like if you want to know how to jack it up properly. Let's see where the jack is. And then over here, this is where our jack stand is located. All right. well, let's get this wheel off. These are 19 millimeter uh, lug nuts. Look at your glasses. Right back here, we have uh, two 19 millimeter uh, bolts. So we're gonna take that off so we can get the caliper out. There's another one down here. It's gonna loosen them up. I think you might be able to pivot one. the bottom one attached. Let's see if we can just kind of pivot this down. I don't know if it's possible. If I have to fully remove it or not. Well, I thought I could just pivot it. Yeah, I think so. Well, pivot or no pivot, it's off. Alright, so you have a, an M8 bolt that screws into that. I think it it's uh, it's not a 1.25 as I just tried my M8 1.25. It's too big. It's uh, should be an M8 1.0 I believe, and uh, but you use that to push the rotor off if it's frozen. I was prepared for a fight, but this one came off pretty easily. It's unusual. Usually it's just rusted to that, you know. So, all right. So that's the rotor. So we have to clean off the surface, and uh, to do that I'm gonna use my wire wheel, my pneumatic wire wheel. My die grinder, that is. So don't get your respirator. Okay, so it's good to check and see if these parts are the same. Okay, they're the same. Diameter is the same. Alright. I'm gonna clean this off. Alright, I had some grease gun issues as you can see. But anyway, you wanna just coat everything with a little bit of grease. Keep everything from rusting, especially here. Uh, that'll help the uh, next mechanic. And also your client. So, good, good. All right. So, that's that. That'll keep that from corroding. All right, I'm having a little bit of a problem here. Okay, so, we put that there, right? themselves have two sides where you notice that this groove 
side here and the hook side there. Okay. So what you want to do is take uh, your groove side with the lip here at the bottom, slide it in first here, and then pull it all the way over. Like that. Okay. Get your second one. Okay. The teeth part down. Okay. Slide that down into there, and then just push it back like that. All right. So that's uh, that's easy. The only problem is, is uh, this rotor doesn't fit between it. It's as if the shoes are too thick. I can't get it on. Now remember, you got to make sure this is depressed all the way, which it is, As it, the caliper that is, make sure that's depressed all the way, but even with the caliper on, I can't get these on. So I don't know, I'll think about it for a second. So take a look, uh, you see the difference in pad size? The one on my thumb, touching my thumb, is considerably thinner than the one up top. And now they're both supposed to be for the same vehicle, but they're different in sizes. The one up top, up top is like 20% like thicker, it looks like. And that's why I didn't fit. So you might have an issue where you're getting the wrong pads, and uh, it's possible. But just remember, look at the difference. If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it because it's just not going to work. Alright, so get the right pads. So the new pads, the outer, di uh, outer diameter is 15.3 uh, millimeters, around that much. Let's put this back together so we have uh, this little slider. It's uh, shorter on the top here, longer on the, on the side facing you. You want to have that short spot at the top, right? And then you're going to uh, look at the brake shoes. They look a little... I want to show you something about these brake shoes. They go like this. This is going to be on the inside. See the bottom tab here? That slides along the bottom like this. Okay? So, I'm going to put some grease on this side, but we'll do it after. Okay, so go like that. So that. Slide that in, right? Then we take this one here. Right? It's going to be on this side. All right, this, again, is going to be at the bottom. This is, this part's at the bottom, that one's at the top. Okay, so we're going to go like this. But to get this in, right, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time because you have to, like, slide this one that way. And then they both can go like that. Okay, so that's how you get that on. All right, so we're gonna have to grease this surface here and that surface, okay? And we're gonna have to grease the back of this.
work tomorrow, young fella. Yeah, right. Not possible. Yeah. So at this stage of the story of my life, uh, things get really interesting for multiple reasons. For one, I'm unaware that these new brake shoes are thicker, they're too thick. They're out of spec, so they will not fit. You can see later on I struggle. But then after I struggle trying to put the brake drum on, the uh, I just forget it and I was just like let me just finish the video so you can see uh, how the process would go from from thought to finish so I finished the video for you but also this I'm about 20 minutes away from having this car get hit by a driver as I work on it right now 
that this driver is going to be really high on some kind of drugs, um, maybe pills of some sort, heroin, I'm unsure. All I know is this person can barely walk. They hit this car. The car is on a jack stand. Maybe that's what saves it from, like, too excessive a damage. There's no wheel. That passenger side rear wheel is off. I mean, sorry, driver's side. Okay, the right side, if you're looking at the vehicle from the right, from the back, wheel is off. So it kind of goes from being parked on the sidewalk to being on, I'm sorry, from being parked on the street to being tossed onto the sidewalk. So it's kind of nuts. Um, the car is probably going like maybe like 15 to 20 miles per hour when they hit the uh, Subaru. And, uh, you know, maybe like an hour earlier I was underneath the car. So, you know, in so many ways, life, life is interesting. You know, I could have lost my life or maimed severely and neither of those things happened so I live to wrench again another day but in general you know you got to be very careful because uh, just people are you never know the, the human condition is a, is a random one full of unpredictable things so you need to be very visual for your own self and you need to like calculate other people's behavior in advance before you become victim to their uh, own shortcomings. So that was me being mindful of myself. I think that's probably the only reason why I was able to like circumvent any failure. Uh, I mean, uh, their failure and their cognitive processes before it hit me. Because I was just constantly being vigilant, looking down the street, making sure cars don't veer off or go the wrong way well either way here I am and uh, just be careful when you're out there so these things are really difficult to get off they uh, they screw down on top of the uh, the pin but you gotta like take find a way to take the uh, loosen their grip uh, you know, I don't really know a really good way to do that other than just trying to get underneath it and just kind of lift it up. You know, so I'm just gonna work it like that. Try not to poke yourself. There you go. Trying to lose it too. It looks like this. See the little fans? You have to tighten them down. So, and that grabs the uh, that grabs the uh, screw.
I want to show you something. So this is um, important to do. Remember this sits like that. Sorry. This part sits inside of the uh, brake shoe. Uh, where's the brake shoe? That's oh, right there. Anyway, it sits inside of here like this, right? Okay. So this here ratchets and it gets, it slides on this pin here back and forth and it moves along the hair, all right? So you wanna like pull this way, so I pull that way to get it to slide back. So that way you can close it down as much as possible. So that way it could helps you uh, install the, uh, when, it, when it's this collapsed, it helps you install the, um, the drum back. What's up, my man? Tough job, ain't it? Yeah, I hate yeah, these, man. Yeah, the back brakes is real tough. Yeah, they're annoying as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You take it easy. Yeah, you too, man. Right. Thanks.
is out on it. So I'm assuming that this is, uh, this is out. Uh. This is going to be uh, 140 feet per pound, so you're going to torque that down too. So when I was um, working on this uh, 1993 Subaru KS4, some bar brakes, I had a really interesting kind of like uh, wake up call, I suppose, where I've always been aware of the dangers of just working outside like I do, curbside being the, the street that you see a lot of these videos are taken on is a, it's a it's a busy Artera and um, with that being said you know uh, humans do have a fair amount of many ways they can uh, not be prepared to drive safely and the cell phone is definitely a, a major um, Problem, you know, when I when I'm out there, I can just watch the. It's like a, in a high ninety percent, people just are on their phones. <laughs> it's crazy, and it's scary at the same time. Now, when someone is high, and you know, there are 
they are absolutely just not attempting to stop and they're trying to flee the scene and they've already like damaged about six or seven cars beforehand and you're right there you know uh, they can see that you are right there nothing is obfuscating the view of you and your vehicle and they just run right into you well then that's scary and that's the reality that uh I experienced, you know, in moments before that, I was under the car, so really, I could have just, this could be a, a different conversation right now, I could, I could have lost my life, I could have been pretty severely injured, so I don't know, I have to really, you know, make a lot of changes, you know, do things a little differently. Just because it's like, you know, I, I don't know what the future is. Uh, and I also know that I need to be a little bit more proactive in shaping the future that I want. So, I don't know. Hopefully that helps you think about your existence a little bit more. And the dangers of, uh, you know, if you work outside, particularly, you know, you're in a city and you have no uh, driveway. Well you're taking chances and you need to be very vigil all right thanks again and i uh, hope to see you for many more videos